Hey you guys, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to my channel. Now this is going to be an upside down side video. It's a kind of series that I've been doing here on my channel. I've al already made two videos in this series. Now the previous two videos were about brands, what I they, like the upside of the brand and the downside of the brand. But this time for this video, I decided to go with a particular product category and that is liquid eyeshadow. Now there are variety of liquid eyeshadows one comes like in a tube with a creamy consistency I'm talking about the ones that come like as in like really liquid form like the glitters especially the ones with that have glitter suspended like in like uh, some kind of uh, eyeshadow base or something like that so very uh, popular example would be Steelers, Glitter and Glow, Magnificent Metals, Liquid Eyeshadows, something along those lines. So I'm pretty much here to talk about why, I mean not why, just the upside and downside that I have faced. Well, it's not really huge, so faced is kind of a stronger word. Just I'm here to share my thoughts and my experiences on using liquid eyeshadows you know what actually brought about this video i mean why i actually picked this as a, the topic instead of a brand the reason i picked this as a category is because i have not been using liquid eyeshadows especially um the ones along the stila glitter and glow eyeshadows glitter eyeshadows i have not been using products like that a lot so i i just wanted to come to a point where I wanted to brainstorm within myself as to why do I really need to buy more of these or not? Should I like start coming up with a strategy? Do I really actually like these products? Although these products are really good, do I really like these? Do I need this in my makeup collection based on the way I apply my makeup, based on the way I like my eyeshadow to be? Do I really need these? So. That's why actually I have come up with positives and negatives and I I mean I have decided what to do uh, after coming up with all these points but I will share with you guys towards the end of this video whether I will be buying more of the liquid eyeshadows or sh uh, am I going to just stop completely. Uh, so yeah let's let's get into it you guys. The first one is the upside is these are very reflective. I love metallic eyeshadows. I'm someone who would go the extra mile and spend the extra dollar for something extremely reflective than something than something like a matte eyeshadow. So I'm happy that I'm spending extra money on something that actually gives something that I absolutely love, something that's very wet looking, very reflective. So that's a major upside. Now downside is, I, now I'm talking about products that are really good quality like uh, Stila Magnificent Metals, uh, Touch and Souls, Glitter Duo. Now those are not glitter ones, those are more like ex excess of foiled eyeshadow, like it's an excess of foiled. Very, very, very foiled eyeshadow, something like that. Very wet looking, very good quality eyeshadows is what I'm talking about. So downside is these are very expensive, guys. And I'm not only talking about uh, the Stila ones. In general, I feel this product category it's in, in itself is very expensive. Even the inexpensive brands like ColourPop, their product category in terms of liquid eyeshadows, I think those retail for $7 or $8. So, if you look at pressed powder eyeshadows, they are sold like as low as four dollars, you know, on ColourPop's website. But liquid eyeshadows, I feel the category itself is like an an expensive one. So even an inexpensive one, a drugstore one, you can find it at uh, retailing at ten dollars. The, the the most recent one I bought is from Flower Beauty. Those are really good no doubt but those retail for 10.99 or something like that so i feel even like a, an inexpensive brand like ColourPop, i think they are seven or eight dollars i'm not sure so the i feel the product category itself is on the expensive side so that is a downside so um yeah they are not as inexpensive as pressed powder eyeshadows or anything like that so now then next the upside is 
I mean, I think this is pretty much why Stila took the market by a storm. Glitter made easy, you guys. Before that, everybody was afraid of glitter. People, uh, I mean, sure, there were other alternatives to make glitter easy, like using a glitter glue, like using a mixing medium. But it's more like taking a product and taking another product, mixing it, and then applying it on your eyes. Although it's not rocket science it takes steps and it's a little intimidating for a retail con consumer i feel for a re retail cons customer it's a little why do i have to do so many steps but the liquid glitter eyeshadows made it so easily all you have to do is dip in the applicator and then put it on your eye and that is it so i feel that is kind of like a best of both worlds that's pretty much what it is and that is why this product is such a hit because th that was definitely much needed in the market like something that was completely missing and Stila definitely I don't know if Stila is the oh, first uh, brand that actually brought this concept in the market but they are the ones that first got noticed so I feel they just totally just I mean everybody bought it like i have so many of those so definitely glitter made easy was the i think the main reason why it got so popular so that is definitely an upside that's probably why i bought it um and then the downside for me is this is something that i personally ran into when i used liquid eyeshadows glitter suspended eyeshadows is blending now i something very reflective i'd probably use it in the inner one third of my eyelid or in the center of my eyelid not usually in the outer one third of my eyelid usually i would use something even if it's brighter or some but something with a little bit of depth so this is where i usually use the inner one third or the center or just there in a corner or just in this spot where I'm where you see it's like reflective that is where I usually use something excessively bright and reflective now I feel there are some really good quality liquid eyeshadows but hands down it's much easier to blend two powder eyeshadows than to blend a liquid eyeshadow with another powder eyeshadow or to blend two liquid eyeshadows side to side by side first of all right away you have to wait until it's dry that's another downside because i i don't want to talk about it right now because i have listed it as another downside for liquid eyeshadows but even if you want to these are the things that i actually ran into and are something that i experienced no, I'm not saying that everybody would experience this. So I'm just sharing my difficulties with you guys. That's that's all this is. So the way I would do it is I would apply it. And if I want to blend this center part, this edges, I would have to like very, very, very gently just kind of blend in the in-between part. Sometimes it would really just stay put and stay opaque. Sometimes a little bit of product would move because I am blending it when the product is wet on my eyelids. Because if I wait until it's dried, it would be completely dried and how would I blend? So definitely I feel blending presented some problems for me personally with respect to liquid eyeshadows. So the easiest way would be to just apply it all over the lid. So like I said, glitter made easy, glamour made easy is just apply one eyeshadow on your eyelid and you you are good to go you don't even need a outer v uh defining darker or matte eyeshadow no just apply it on your eye and, and a mascara and you look you would look fabulous that's pretty much why uh, i mean that is the, like the previous upside point like glamour made glamour glitter made easy but my problem is the blending and some technical difficulties that I ran that's prob ran into. That's probably why I don't reach for glitter liquid eyeshadows that often. So blending is definitely a problem for me. Like I said, the easiest way, hands down, is to blend two powder eyeshadows. That's it. Um, liquid and powder, blending it, 
it's actually a little bit easier <clears throat> because the other eyeshadow is powder so if you want to build up you can easily build it up so and then the next technic technical difficulty would be building up the product so this is again a downside so some something happens something somewhere happens and it and let's assume it's not even the mistake of the uh, it's not the mistake it's not even the problem of the liquid eyeshadows formula let's assume it's my mistake I did something and uh, there's a little bit of a bald spot or there's a spot where the product is kind of sheer or something like that building up is a little tricky it dip, it actually varies from formula to formula but even then if you build it up too much it kind of looks very um, flaky and like bumpy on your eyelid so I feel again building up is not as seamless and effortless and easy as powder eyeshadows just in my opinion it's just uh, again another technical difficulty that I personally encountered is blending building up and whatever and then the next upside is these are so easy to travel if you decide if you go on vacation or if you have like in your trip where you want to travel if you have something uh, that you want to glam up for this is so easy and so weightless these are so tiny these products I think you'd probably get uh, four milliliters or five milliliters each these are so tiny they don't shatter there is no um, you know uh, possibility of shattering you know not unlike powder eyeshadows the, they may break and especially if they if you carry powder eyeshadows like in a palette things might break and shatter the entire and ruin all the other shadows also in the palette so there's no problem with shattering or breaking these might leak so but I haven't experienced I, the ones I own are all really good so I haven't experienced leaking or anything of that sort so these are ex these are so 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 good in terms of traveling these like I said I think all the upsides for the for this product category is all about the ease but at the same time getting the most out of it you know like the uh, best of both worlds so the downside is like I said you have to wait for it to dry and that too you just can't like apply it and just like look up look down and just uh, you know just sit there and wait no the best way to dry is just close oh, I mean close your eyes and just let it dry that way there, there are no creases when the liquid eyeshadow dries and so it looks very very seamless there is no line or anything like that so that actually is time consuming you guys I know it takes only a few seconds for the eyeshadows to dry but still it is time consuming sometimes some formulas are a little bit tricky you have to wait until the entire thing is, is like completely dried down and once it dries down again I'm going to the back to the point of building up again it's so hard in case you want to build up an eyeshadow liquid eyeshadow you would have to apply it one layer wait until it dries and then apply another layer who has time for that really who has so I feel I have done that and sometimes it kind of what happened once with an eyeshadow is which I no longer own is um, I applied one layer and it completely it beautifully dried down and then I wanted to apply another layer and what happened is it kind of made the first layer which had already dried down kind of moist and and then something happened and I like opened my eyelid and the entire thing like I was I saw an entire ball spot the uh, like a, a complete area of the eyeshadow had come off come off my eyelid so it, it I had to take it all off and do it once again I don't even recall which brand it, that is I just remember how bad that experience was I was like I do not like to waste my time in with bad products not just bad product tricky products you know if if it had been like a powder eyeshadow I would have like done so many intricate things now that I know I would at least have would have tried to do it, something like that and I'd be happy you know um, the most would that would happen with the powder eyeshadow is I would have just mix the wrong colors and or something like that not like uh, an area of the eyeshadow just comes right off your eyelid leaving actual bald spot so again that is a technical difficulty that I experienced 
sorry experience that I don't want to so that is something that that I want to share with you guys and then what okay this uh, this is another after this I have only downsides I don't have upsides so you can see where my decision making is going now this is something that I did not ex actually experience that I'm but I think that it's it's coming I mean it has nowhere else to go because being a liquid product it is going to dry up soon uh, although it's like um, I mean I close it securely and everything it's not a sealed product you know what I mean so it is going to dry up soon and because it is like a moist liquid product it is going to also the shelf life is less you know what I mean it's it's the shelf life is less unlike a powder eyeshadow although the powder eyeshadows or eyeshadow also they say that it has like a 12 month or 6 month of shelf life but still you know you can you can really use a powder eyeshadow for a very very long time but this I think it really because it dries out it's like impossible for you to actually use it maybe you could use some kind of medium but we don't know how being a retail consumer so yeah but I haven't experienced those two yet something that's like actually gone bad or something that's dried out or something like that not not yet but I think it's I'm, I'm getting there those products that I already own are uh, they, they they are getting there so the final point final downside something that really I think that is the reason that I've changed my mind is that I like to apply different colors and learn new things as I'm applying my makeup my goal is the exact opposite reason why liquid eyeshadows got popular liquid eyeshadows got popular because you can just apply one eyeshadow on your lid and you look fabulous but all what I want to do when I'm put on makeup is apply as many colors as possible mixing to two eyeshadows seeing what happens when you blend two eyeshadows together if is there a new color does it turn muddy I experiment with I play with makeup with eyeshadows that is my goal when I'm applying eyeshadows I still want it to be fabulous reflective and whatnot but I really also want to play with makeup and the kind of makeup I want to use should be easy not hard like I said these are very very hard to actually blend powder eyeshadows metallic or matte can be blended in any part of your eye here it's so easy to blend I have tried blending a liquid eyeshadow here and it would it looked bad there were like bald spots spots where there were no product itself when I tried to um, build up that bald spot with more it looked chunky and just not good just bad and I have tried using liquid eyeshadow in the inner corner of my eyelid it just did not blend well with the lower lash line matte eyeshadow that I used or this this eyeshadow or any other eyeshadow these are tricky the the best place to use liquid eyeshadows these these glitter liquid eyeshadows is on the eyelid period nowhere else it's a little hard maybe you can use it in other areas of the eye but I don't have the skill to do that so yeah and like I said I want to learn to do something different every single day I don't want to just apply one eyeshadow on my eyelid and just go about my day if I have the time I want to do something different and this prevents me to do that this, I mean the, the reason like I said the reason these got so popular is because of these are best of two worlds ease with glamour but I want to learn to mix two colors how to uh, mix warm tones and cool tones I just want to play with makeup and this just prevents me from doing it so and these are expensive and these are sure these are very reflective and all the technical difficulties that I explained to you guys unable to apply it here and just on my eyelids but building up waiting for it to dry it's just 
I think I'm not going to buy. That is my final decision. I'm not going to buy liquid eyeshadows, glitter eyeshadows. Sure, my one of my favorite is Makeup Forever's uh, um, you know, cream eyeshadows. I'm not talking about the ones that can be used as bases or some matte uh, cream eyeshadows that can be blended in on your eyes. I love those things. I use them all the time, but I'm just talking about glitter eyeshadows that are suspended and stuff like that. Oh, by the way, <coughs> Well, how did I not talk to you guys about this? There's one upside that I completely forgot. These, I feel, combine all the trends put together in just one product. Now, uh, toppers, glitter toppers are trendy. Um, what else? Very, very ultra reflective. Uh, and eye looks are very glossy, ultra reflective. Eye looks are trendy. And what's the other one? Oh, cut creases are so trendy. I think cut crease eye looks have been trending for like past two years. All of them can be achieved with just one product. These are very reflective, as I said. And then these can be used as glitter toppers, even with, you, you could just apply a, a matte eyeshadow underneath and just use this as toppers. And it would, it can also sometimes look as a duochrome, you know, like a different base and a different glitter uh, on top. So these work beautifully as toppers. So glitter toppers is another trend that's been going on this year. And then, like I said, easy, easiest way to do a cut crease is with a liquid eyeshadow. So I feel it definitely combines a lot of trends in just one bottle. Like, so it's definitely a good product that, I mean, there is a good, re I mean, there is a good reason why this is such a hit and this continues to be a hit. But for me and for my makeup lifestyle and my makeup method that I totally enjoy, truly enjoy, these just don't fit in that. So my final decision is I will no longer, what? I will no longer be buying glitter eye, liquid eyeshadows anymore. If I were to buy something, eyeshadows with glitter, it's definitely, definitely got to do, got to be powder. There has to be a powder element to it. I'm not also buying glitter eyeshadows just mixed with uh, some kind of emollient substance like just like a Vaseline or whatever. No, no to that too. I just want just pressed glitter powder eyeshadows. To me, powder eyeshadows are my best friends. That is the way to go for me. That's the easiest thing that I can do. So yeah, I hope this video was was a little different. I know this this is just upside downside videos just as the other previous two videos, but I feel I was brainstorming my difficulties plus talking about the upside and why this product this category was famous. I hope I feel this was a little different from the the previous two upside downside videos. Hope you guys found this video useful and also enjoyed. Thank you so so much if you stayed to this end of this video. I so so much appreciate you guys spending your very precious time with me and uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it and also found it informative and please do subscribe i told i would it would mean a lot to me and i will see you guys very soon in my next video Bye bye